Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as the title suggests, today you are going to be seeing this makeup look which will be absolutely perfect for all the summer weddings that is going to be happening now. And you are going to get this glowy base and a very very simple eye look. So if you are not much into colors, then this is something which is perfect for this wedding season and if you are new here hi my name is Vinisha thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe because it is absolutely free and you get notifications whenever I upload a new video now without any further rambling let's get into the video now as a first step of skincare I wash my face using the Derma Wife Hydra Cleanser this is soap free fragrance as well as paraben free this is great for sensitive skin and also balances the pH of your skin next to moisturize my face I'm going to be using Using the Nutriderm Moisturizing Lotion. It has vitamin E in it and it is suitable for all skin types. It serves as a very very good base for your makeup. This also does not have any fragrance and it is also very friendly for sensitive skin. But I personally feel that this is a boon for dry skin people. Like you will really love this. I have winter here and this moisturizer is like so so good for my skin right now now the key to holding your makeup in place during summer is avoiding a lot of layers on your skin and keeping it as light as possible so for that i'm going to be using the primer water today instead of using a primer on my face so that way i get one less of a layer Once you spray this all over your face, you have to dry, wait till it is dry and gets completely absorbed on your face so that your face is all hydrated and ready for the makeup. someone who has a lot of pores on your face, then try using a pore filling primer only on the areas where you have pores. Do not apply it all over your face. So today I'm going to be using this uh, Pro Filter Primer from Fenty Beauty. I know this is not available in India now. So I will leave other links in the description where you can find dupes of this product. So you take a little bit of this um, primer and just apply it on the areas where you have open pores. So I have open pores around here. So I'm just going to be applying it only there so that the pores are kind of filled and it gives that blurry effect. Do not apply it all over your face because it's definitely not necessary. I'm going to be starting with my eyes first and I'm going to be taking this concealer from K-Beauty. And applying it all over my eyelid now I'm blending the concealer so that I get the base for my eyeshadow and I'm going to be setting it with some powder now as a first step I'm going to be using this brown shade here And I'm applying this shade only on my crease. So all the products that I will be showing in this video will be mentioned in the description box in case if I have missed any. So can you see the depth that the eyeshadow has created on both my eyes? So yeah, that is mainly why I wanted this and now I'm going to be setting it with orange soda, this color right here. I'm applying this shade only on the lid. Now I'm going to be having a smoky eyeliner. So first I'm going to be drawing a liner, smudging it off. So I'm going to be using this eyeliner from Maybelline which is called the Tattoo Liner. This line doesn't have to be like really precise and neat. I'm doing the same on the other eye, drawing a rough liner and smudging it with the brush. Now with whatever is left in the brush, I'm going to be using it on my lower waterline. Now if you want this kajal smudged look to stay for a very very long time, then do set it with a black 
eyeshadow that way it will last for a very very long time and it will not melt in the summer now let's begin with the face makeup now first to color correct I'm going to be using an orange corrector and applying it on the areas where I have some pigmentation on my face now if you feel that you've applied excess corrector then tone it down using a sponge Now I'm going to be applying my foundation and for foundation I'm using the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation today. Just using one pump, dotting it all over my face. Now to highlight my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is lighter than my skin and I'm applying it only on the areas where I have to highlight. Now to blend everything in, I'm going to be using this damp beauty blender and stamping the product onto my skin now this sponge is from plume and this is probably like the softest one it's even softer than the beauty blender itself like if you haven't tried it then do try it it's like super soft like so 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 soft now for my blush i'm going to be using this uh, earth rhythm lip and cheek tint so first i'm going to be blending this with a brush This is like a very very mild tint it doesn't even like leave your skin that patchy and it also blends really nice and again i'm going to be blending it with the beauty blender so if you could see it could it's going to give you that nice healthy glow now i'm going to be setting my face with a translucent powder and i'm using this powder from becca using a fluffy brush So if you see now I have set my face in such a way that I have left the cheeks just to be like that so that the blush is all nice. So now where I have set the powder is on my forehead, my nose, little bit under my eyes and also around my mouth. So these are like the areas where you sweat a lot. So make sure that you set them with lots of powder so that way your makeup won't move. Now next to bronze my face I am using this bronzer from uh, L'Oreal. I'm bronzing on the usual areas of my face, mostly on my forehead, on the hollows of my cheeks and also a little bit on my chin, also a little bit on the sides of my nose. So once you've powdered your face, it's time to set your eyebrows. So I like to do it in the last because I don't want any powder depositing on my eyebrows. Next for my lips, I'm using the K-Beauty Lip Liner. I will leave the shade in the description box. Now once my lips is lined, I'm going to be using this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Sunset Spark. So this combination gives you a really really beautiful ombre lip. Now not to forget, I'm going to be applying some mascara. So now let me do my changeover.
so that's it we have come to the end of the video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so do let me know in the comments if you have liked this video and that is going to help me you know create more of such content and yeah thank you so much and i'll see you guys very very soon in another video bye bye take care